James Hinchcliffe is on his way to his very first win in the IZOD IndyCar Series. He's been on the podium twice before, but the mayor of Hinchtown is now an IndyCar Series winner. Go Daddy goes to victory lane. Is this going to be Andretti Autosport claiming the first two races of the new season while being the defending champions? So many years of Ganassi and Penske dominance, we are seeing the era of Andretti Autosport. Traffic will not come into play. Ryan Hunter Ray, he's never even finished in the top 10 here. The series champion is now a winner in 2013. Hunter Ray wins at Barber Motorsports Park. Long time. Great sponsor for this team, and they are going to get a victory out of this. Full course yellow. And now we've got the full, full course, course caution. caution. Bring so it home. all Sato's got to do is just steer it around. It's done for Takuma Sato through the carousel one last time. Nice and easy. Bring it home. No passing on the racetrack. Full course caution. Sato through the hairpin one last time. Way up through go, the gearbox. The 52 race starts, and Takuma Sato wins in the 52nd start. He wins the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. It's all to play for on this final lap. And, and everybody's, on it. everybody's burning their button. Hitch is on the button. He's got oh. the inside. Sato says no again. Chops him again. Hinchcliffe, did he do it early enough for Hinch to have a run? New Garden's out of the draft. Sato hands on to it. New Garden on the inside of Andretti. And on the inside, Hinchcliffe oh. is running over and under. Oh, he is in the mayor's office. James Hinchcliffe runs it to the line. Will he have enough? And he wins his second one. Serbia the fourth. On the final corner, on the final lap, James Hinchcliffe is a winner again. As he makes the turn out of turn four. After years of frustration, the satisfaction of knowing his name will go on the board, Warner Trophy, the winner. and nobody's close enough to make a pass here so they're going to make it all the way down to turn seven and mike conway meanwhile is getting ready Mike Keaty's really close the finish line this man had two horrific crashes at the indianapolis motor speedway said that i don't want to drive on the ovals anymore but he sure can drive the road courses his second career win and mike conway does it in style here comes conway taking a peek can't get it done Meanwhile, Simon Pagino, he could be and will become the sixth ever winner this year. Who's going to get second? It will be James Jakes coming across the line second. It'll be his fourth win at Texas. He won in 04, 06, and 09 as he heads down the back stretch. Let him go. Let him go. We mentioned he'll be the seventh different winner in eight races, but it be his first win on an oval since Motegi in 2010. Elio Castro Nevis takes the Great job, buddy. Great job. All right. The man who won from pole position at Barber Motorsports Park in Birmingham, Alabama earlier this year in the second round of the championship. As a matter of fact, he's the only driver to win from pole position this year. He wasn't on the pole today. His Andretti Autosport teammate was. But the defending series champion and the defending race winner goes back to back great at the Milwaukee job, Mile. Awesome. He holds on here. It'll be the fifth different winner for Andretti Autosport, as there goes Ed Carpenter underneath Graham Rahal. So the tires may be giving out on Graham's car as he gets bumped back to the fifth spot. Here comes James Hinchcliffe taking the win, his third of the year. Here comes right now Dixon's having problems because Kanan's just up ahead. He's probably getting disturbed air. Can't keep the momentum in the turns. Well, they're coming down to the wire, and here it is. Checkered flag is out for the 30th time in his career. Scott Dixon gets the win. Kimball second. Frank Keady completes the sweep, and the celebration begins. Inside goes. Oh, oh, no. Hang on to it. The two come together. Oh. And knocks himself out of it and this will send him straight to the back of the pack no 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 for willpower we told you about these two guys at toronto yeah they're like oil and water and it's happened again however up front it is clear 
that Scott Dixon has been the class of this opening race. He is the man. And it was unbelievable last weekend in Pocono. What a dominant performance. Good fuel economy from the Hondas. Great driving from Scott Dixon. And the man who is Chip Ganassi's longest tenure driver wins the first one in Toronto. Dixon gets back-to-back -back victories. Give you a sense of the force of impact. Will power out of the car. And he shakes, head. and yeah. understandably so. Yeah. Frustration, disbelief, annoyance, whatever it is, all of them. And what about the defending series champion, Ryan Hunter Ray? There he is, he gets out of the car. This is the final lap of the race. What a weekend it has been for Scott Dixon. This is incredible. Three wins in a row and a $100,000 bonus to Scott Dixon. Three in a row, says Emma. And there's the boss. It's been a super weekend with Firestone Indy Lights, Pro Mazda, USF 2000. We've had uh, Pirelli World Challenge. There's been no shortage of racing. There's been no shortage of fans. The weather has worked on our side and the sun is shining on Charlie Kimball. It's his 45th career IndyCar Series start. Charlie Kimball, you're an IndyCar race winner. Oh, yeah. Kimball wins at Mid-Ohio. Bill Power is the only multi-time winner in IndyCar racing here at Sonoma Raceway. He has two. He went back to back in 2010 and 2011. Will Power is a three-time winner at Sonoma Raceway and it's his first in 2013. Race. That was Detroit doubleheader, Detroit 2. This year, uh, this weekend, he was in the Firestone Fast 6 and here he is. He's headed towards the top step of the podium. And let's make sure, sure he that comes. he gets through here cleanly because Kanan's yep. here at the exit somewhere. Cautious driving. He gets through that area. Coming up to the chicane for the final time, the 29-year-old Frenchman, Simon Paginot, sees the checkered flag and wins the Baltimore Grand Prix. Open wheel racing fans, it's reason to celebrate for car number 78. Simona Di Silvestro, the 25-year-old Swiss female driver. This is her highest career accomplishment. She's never stood on an IndyCar podium. Her teammate won the Indy 500 this year. But today, in addition to Dixon, is Simona's day. They will be celebrating good crowd on hand here at Reliant Park Stadium. Dixon wins his fourth of the year and the first of this Texas doubleheader. Power, half a lap left to run. Oh, and Dixon got really loose out of that last corner. I'm not sure he's going to have enough here. Two car lengths in it between Power and Dixon. This championship is going to go all the way to the final. Whoa, that's Whoa. a huge crash. EJ Viso was at Marco Andretti. There's four or five cars involved in that. Turn 10 for the final time. It's a Penske day. It's a Will Power day in Houston. Possible. It's just an amazing comeback. Scott Dixon on the left of your screen. Final lap of this season. In 2003, Scott Dixon was crowned champion. In 2008, as he takes the white flag, he was crowned champion. That was five years. It's been five years since then. Every five years, this man drives to a championship in the IndyCar Series. And look he at him, 150 mile this home, lap. 205. <laughs> yeah. okay. Leaders are at 215, and he had a big lift there and won. He can coast home and win the championship. Third win of the year. The Penske's willpower. It's the team's first win at the track that the captain built, but we're waiting for our champion, 33-year-old New Zealander, Scott Dixon, for Target Chip Ganassi Racing, is your champion. Dixon does it for the third time in his career. Scotty D is the man.